It is Friday the 16th of August and look at the view that I just woke up to. She's here. Let's get ready to get on We're her. We're just going to do our hair with a view of the ship. Um, so yes, so this will be my third Disney cruise, but I do have another two booked, which is very exciting. I'm not saying that those are the only two I'm going to end up going on because I'd forgotten just how easy it is to come down to Southampton and just board a ship. Port arrival time today is half past 11, um, but getting here yesterday and realizing that I could see the horizon terminal from this room, because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to see it. So staying at the Moxie and the last two times we stayed at the Holiday Inn where we just had a room that overlooked the the whole like um, port area so you could just see everything apart from last year when the ship was at the QE2 terminal so that was rubbish um but yeah so uh port arrival time is half 11 so I'm so excited I'm um very excited for the um getting on board process I'm excited for a new stateroom and I'm excited for um <laughs> really excited for the trivia i'm just like ah um so yeah so i've overpacked obviously so you'll see lots of different outfits and um yeah gonna go get some breakfast and then it'll be time to move the car because yeah 11 34 arrival time i worked hard to get that one i did work hard to get that one um so yeah i will see you very soon Disney Dream is walking aboard Katrina and Ollie. Welcome aboard. Disney Dream, please welcome aboard the Ball family. Disney Dream is walking aboard Kelly. The first thing we did when we got on board was go downstairs and just check that my request for a private table at dinner had been um acknowledged um so they said they would sell that for me and then it was such a gorgeous day as you can see that we went for a bit of an explore upstairs here on the sports deck um before heading down to cabanas to get some buffet lunch Just walking down the stairs past the entrance to Paolo and Remy and the Meridian Bar here, which you will see later on in the vlog. So what we have here is we have some cornbread for this chicken and shrimp gumbo and some chicken tenders of course, nice turkey wrap and some cold shrimp and a nice crispy diet cook. Well, I've got some prawns because I don't want to feel left out mm -hmm. and then crab leg because you have to. Uh, lamb chop, steak and roasted steam shit which I suspect is beef and a bit of mash so pretty good really some orange juice then we got some dessert of course and checked out vanilla peas because I hadn't actually been in here last time because it was often closed for filming last time I was on the ship it's cute but I didn't buy anything
then while it was still quiet, we headed down to the adults only area to check out the district, um, which is all the which bars and nightclubs on this level. This opens at five. I love it in here. Yeah. Hi. And over here we have the trippiest toilets in the world. Um because they're all round. They're so so trippy to be in. But cool at the same time. Then this is evolution. And then this is down into the Skyline Lounge. I love it in here. Y'all have a good one. All right, we can head on over, say hello. It was open house in the Oceania Club, so we went down for a nosy. Um, I'd never been in here before, so that was really cool. Loved the Star Wars section and got to meet Jesse too. Since she first created, she should do the honors. Me? Yeah. I'll try open it. Clean rip. Go on, clean rip. Oh, skills. You can't teach that. Skills. Yes. Right, room tour. Closets as you walk in. There's the safe. There we go, I've got some light. Here's the shower. My favourite lotion. Such a teeny tiny bath. And body wash and shampoo. I think I'm about to get in shower with those later. There's me. Full length mirror. So you can see the full fit. <laughs> and then the best bed ever. So excited to sleep in this bed. So excited. And our luggage was waiting for us when we got here. We got some drawers and some storage here. I see ears and wine going here slightly outdated four ships there 
then we've got uh the sofa bed so this room would actually only sleep three because there's not a berth in the ceiling so this would actually be a sleep three room so it's ideal for two people there's my castaway club gift and my lanyards in there I'm gonna get the booze in the fridge here in a minute nice little seat nice table this room feels slightly narrower than the other one but i'm sure it's just my perspective and then let's see if we can do this um it's unlocked i think we're unlocked nope down no. Welcome to Southampton. Welcome to the biggest veranda in the world. So big. So I went to watch Disney's Believe while Ollie went to the pub and now we're just lounging on deck four and it's rather lovely. Our first dining rotation was Royal Palace. We ordered all the starters and then had some salad and soup. I had the mushroom ravioli, Ollie had the lamb chop. Here's a look at the dessert menu and I went for the signature dessert. And of course, I couldn't eat all of it after having all of the starters. Let's see. It's a fish. What would you say that was? So like a squid? Some sort of sea creature. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna clip her back cause we're gonna go get some drinks on deck 11. And then we talked about going for a drink, like drink, drink. We were like, just go to bed, bed tired, it's been a long day. And we've been on the ship since quarter to 12. And it's now, well, it's half past 10, but clocks go forward an hour. I was going to Belgium. So it's half past 11, so we've been on the ship 12 hours. We've been on the go on the ship for 12 hours. I did buy something in the shop. It's a pin, it's a pin for Paolo. How cute. Will you focus, please? Please focus on the pin. <gasps> it's so cute. So, this is me eating all the stuff at Paolo. Both of these is me eating all the stuff at Paolo. There were a couple of other really cute generic Disney Cruise Line pins, and there was one for the 25th anniversary that they didn't have last year. So, still sort of tempted to get that. But we yeah, have that's that's exciting. But yeah, gonna get some coffee and some Diet Coke. Apparently just caffeine. The commitment to the trivia, playing it pre-breakfast. That's commitment right there.
Nothing says Disney Cruise like walking past crowds of children seeing princesses. Whilst wearing your waffle ears, holding your Disneyland coffee, your Disneyland t-shirt, storming through crocs pounding the carpet on the way to Trivia. And then we got the shuttle bus to Belgium and um, found a fabulous beach bar where we had some lush Belgian beers and I had a little paddle in the water. Didn't know that Belgium had beaches like this since I've only been to Brussels and Bruges. Well, I've been to Antwerp as well, but like I've only been to cities, I've only stayed in cities. Um, but yeah, this was cold. But the best part was you could see the ship from the beach as well. Thanks. So just took Ollie to see the Golden Mickeys. Um, I have a pocket full of Golden Mickey confetti because sitting down in the main bit has the advantage that you get confetti on. I had several giant Golden Mickeys stuck to me. Um, it just made me cry. I think again, being right down in the middle, it was so much more immersive. Like you had singers coming right past you and you were like right there by the stage as well. But that, that show is definitely Oh, it's really good. I thought Believe was my favourite, but I think Golden Mickey's might be my favourite. I'm not going to see Beauty and the Beast tomorrow because there was some Beauty and the Beast in Believe and there was some Beauty and the Beast, bless you, in Golden Mickey's. So we've come up, I don't know if you can tell, but we've come up to Meridian. I'm going to sat on the outside bit of Meridian because we're still docked in um, Belgium until um, 10 o'clock tonight. The all aboard time is 10 o'clock, so we won't sell until after 10 o'clock. So it's also pirate night tonight, but I'm dressed themed to the Golden Mickeys. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a little pre-dinner cocktail and there's nobody up here. It's so nice, so nice. What did you think of the Golden Mickeys? Yeah, I thought it was good. It was like a nice variety. Um, the cast was quite big, I didn't expect that. Um, and are you excited for your pre-dinner cocktail? Very much so. Our dining rotation that night was Animator's Palette. Ollie has his beer mug there. And then for starters, I of course got the uh, black truffle pasta, but I also got the salmon tartar. Ollie had the ham and cheese. And I had pre ordered a curry, and it was a butter chicken, which is exciting. <laughs> when you come. As you can see, it was really quiet in here. Love the cocktails and it was a great escape after pirate night. It was a lot, but it was the first time I'd actually sort of celebrated pirate night, so that was cool. And look at the desertedness of this atrium. Pirate night. 
we have the pirate with the gold coin eyes. Mwahaha. So we haven't used any towels in our towel animals yet, interesting. In addition to the pixie dust, these are the pins I picked up tonight. A Mickey trivia pin wearing a medal that I can't seem to attain. A Disney dream pin with the Fab Five. And the 25th anniversary pin that they did not have last year. So they were limited edition, but not limited that we could have them last year. And now we're gonna have a little bit of late night pin hunting. We will see. I should have had them pins when we went to the store because I heard they have a mystery pin box and I would have been able to um, open that if I had my pins with me, but I did not have them with me. I need to take them with me. So just got back from a little pin trading and looking at rooms specifically on deck eight because i'm in a pin trading whatsapp and there was a couple of rooms on deck eight so it's like it's a good place to start um but if i remember to take my pins with me tomorrow shops are open all day tomorrow although they were deliciously quiet tonight apart from there was like always somebody directly in front of the pins i mean i managed to buy those three so today did two lots of trivia, which I did not win. No medals for Katrina. And breakfast at Cabana's, which was not not pleasant. <laughs> like, the food was fine. The coffee was fine. Like, the food was really quite nice. But, like, the atmosphere and the getting of the food and the fact they just kept running out Mickey waffles. So, if we do breakfast tomorrow, we'll go do sit down. So, we're guaranteed Mickey waffles. Um, and then got off the ship, went to Belgium, had some Belgian beers, um, came back, went on the aqueduct, went in the hot tub, got <laughs> showered and ready and went to the Golden Mickeys, went up to Meridian, had two drinks of Meridian, came down, had dinner, went to the pirate party, then went for a drink in the Skyline bar and then went to the shop. Um, the last two days on the ship, I've walked over five, five miles each day. <laughs> but then um, when you've got an itinerary like that, it's like, oh, yeah, no, I can see why. Um, so tomorrow, Disney Cruise Line trivia at 10.15 and Paolo at 12.30. I'm so excited for Paolo. Literally, my aims for this cruise were Paolo trivia. I mean, yeah, but yeah, two pin trades. I found five boards and traded on two of them. So if you got the pins that I traded, I hope you liked them. There was a stitch one and a Lion King one. So yeah, I've got another Lion King one to trade and a Grogu one to trade. Started the day with some Disney Cruise Line trivia, some Mickey Churro waffles and a Diet Coke. And I do love these fingers on the lifts. They're my favourite part. Then we headed to Paolo. We each got a mimosa, the fish antipasti, the meat antipasti, almond croissant, bread basket. Ollie had a Bloody Mary. Then we had the egg course, some celery soup, the secret pizza, some veal, some panna cotta, some zabaglioni, and of course an espresso to wash it all down before heading for more trivia with our cocktail of the day. Before dinner at Enchanted Garden, we went to Pink for happy hour. Love this bar. Um, and then at Enchanted Garden, I had the Ahi Tuna Stack. We had the bread service. And then I had the most delicious, delicious um, sea bass, which I'd never tried before. And it was gorgeous. Also, I had this uh, raspberry spinach salad. And then it was just like, nope, done. Need to stop now. Need to stop all the food. So tonight's towel animal is the very famous crab. I don't know why I keep calling it a towel animal because we've had three creatures now made with just the blanket. I'm sure his eyes are meant to be like here and these are meant to be his eyes. Now he looks more like a crab. There, I fixed him. I've clipped the hair back because we're going to go up to deck 11 now and get a refill on oh excuse me water and coffee and i've not yet been to cove cafe so i need to get my salted caramel coconut latte with some latte art on it pronto um 
and then we should really go to bed i can't believe we've left dinner so early like last night we didn't get out of dinner until like half 10 or something no it must have been quarter past because the pirate deck party started at 10 i was like we're gonna miss this um but i had the sea bass in enchanted garden tonight and it was oh the meal in enchanted garden tonight despite the fact that i had no pudding and despite the fact that i'm still a little bit full from paolo had the ahi tuna stack the raspberry spinach salad and the sea bass and it was so good i mean like i feel like i look good from having have it <laughs> like I'm like oh i'm all healthy now i've had loads of fish but the sea bass was so nice really really nice so we're gonna go and get some um people being noisy outside my door um you know and get some drinks on deck and the moon is looking fabulous tonight so i might show you in a minute oh and i also did the mystery trade draw things in the shop um and i was sort of tempted they had this randomly a green bay packer mickey football pin um and then they had this random Thor one. I wasn't tempted by the Thor one at all, but the Green Bay Packer Mickey one. I was like, oh, it's quite cute, actually. Quite cute. Driving away from the ship. It's a sad sight, isn't it? Oh. oh a Disney dream. This time last year, I had another one booked. I've got crazy ship booked on different ships, but... Not on the dream. Got to know the layout of a different ship now. And just like that, we are back. That's the thing with a three night cruise. It does go by quite quickly. Um, so yeah, so we went to Belgium. First Disney cruise. Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I think it's a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. Um I think it was better than I expected. That's exactly what you want a holiday to be. Yep. Yeah. Um no, it was quite good fun. Yeah. Really had a good time. Excellent. Um, what was the favourite of the three restaurants, the three rotational dining, Enchanted Garden, which was last night, um, Royal Palace, which was the first night, and Animated Palette, which was the middle night, which was your favourite out of those three? Um, probably the Royal... Royal Palace. Royal Palace. Where we had all the starters. All the starters. It was just a little bit more spacious. It was, yeah. It's uh, interesting. It Conversely, felt a bit more intimate. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a bit more personal. Yeah. Uh, it's just sort of laid out a bit better. Yeah. I agree about the layout. I think in terms of Royal Palace, we had the best table at Royal Palace. Yeah. Um, but food-wise, it was Enchanted Garden for me, which was the same last time I went on mm. the Dream. Food-wise, it was definitely Enchanted Garden. Yeah, it was good food. Mm -hmm. Good food at Enchanted Garden. Speaking of food, what was the favourite thing that you ate on the ship? Mm. Um... I can go first if you want. Probably it was probably, if I'm allowed to say, the fish antipasti in Paolo. You are allowed to say Paolo, absolutely. Yeah, the fish antipasti in Paolo is amazing. As was the celery soup. Yeah. The celery soup was lush. Uh, um, yeah. I'm gonna. You're expecting me to say Paolo here. Yeah. The sea bass in Enchanted Garden. Wow. The yeah. sea bass in Enchanted Garden was so good. If you told me, if you sent me that, Paolo, I'd have been like, yes, this is, it's still the best thing that I've eaten. But yeah, <coughs> I mean, Paolo was an excellent experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you were raving about. I, I know, I know. And I was and still. Still are. I still am. I yeah. still am. Yeah. Um, we did eight trivias. Um, I think it's eight. I'm worried I've missed one and it's actually nine. Uh, we didn't win any of them. Um, we came very close to winning several of them. Um, and the one, ironically, that we got the sort of highest percentage score in, although it was sort of tied, was that one. The one that we got the highest percentage score in was 90s music trivia. But technically, that was also tied with Disney Parks trivia. Right. Because we got 17 out of 20 on Disney Parks and 34 out of 40. So, percentage-wise, yep. it's the same. Um, but, yeah. What was your favourite thing that you did on the ship, thinking about activities? Activities? I mean, I, I like that there's a good variety and that it's 
it's different for different people absolutely you know like you don't just have to you know going off and doing like character things is not really my jam mm -hmm. but there's plenty of other stuff to do and like exploring and you know obviously kind of visiting the bars and restaurants was yeah was good um but yeah i definitely enjoyed doing the trivia yeah stuff um some were slightly better than others but they were all quite good fun i and think the like hosts were all very good they were good yeah i think the <clears throat> 18 plus trivia was better than the all ages trivia yeah and not because there was it was any different content it was just the audience was a bit more reactive and responsive um and so yeah i did notice a difference which i don't think i've noticed that before i think that was because they were a little bit later in the day yeah so people were oh no that one that i did early in the morning that you came and found me at oh yeah um that was literally that was early. nine o'clock in the morning yeah that was ridiculous <laughs> um i did some new things obviously riding the aqueduct with you was awesome yeah that was good because i'd only ever ridden it with a stranger um so that makes me really excited um for riding the aqua mouse when we go on the wish in december i'm really looking forward to that yeah. um i went to two out of the three shows i loved hmm. sitting really close to the front of the gold mickeys i yeah. cried because it was just so immersive it was good yeah i thought gold mickeys was quite yeah, i'd quite also never stood on like the main deck for the sail away party so i enjoyed kind of being in the middle for that that was quite cool yeah um and then i'd also never been to the kiss club before i'd never been into the like open house of the kiss club so that was cool seeing that part of the ship because that's all very themed and very whimsical mm. um yeah and then this was the first time i got off a ship a cruise ship as well so it was a lot of first for me this, yeah. this cruise what was your sort of thoughts about getting off and that experience? it was really difficult because i had really bad fomo for what i was missing on the ship okay. um and so i definitely know that when i go to go on the wish with you i definitely want to get off at castaway key yeah but i think that will be enough i don't think i want to get off aside from that okay do you feel like getting off was the right thing to do or do you in hindsight feel like you would have preferred to have stayed on board i can't say because i only did one of those things okay yeah, yeah. like it was like we found a cool beach bar yeah in, like I in thought belgium had, i thought we had it a was, nice time. yeah it's not that we didn't have a nice time but i also had fomo at the same time yeah um so it was cool um but yeah, and then the like the shuttle bus back was packed. But the shuttle buses were really organised, so that was good. Yeah. Um, and sort of seeing the show the first <clears> night on my own, that was really cool. Um, and yeah, showing off kind of the lounges and things like that to you because I like all of them. Mm. Sitting and having drinks outside at Meridian while we were just docked in Belgium was awesome because mm. it wasn't windy at all. Yeah, and I like how different the different bars feel yeah they're all well. very different um and even though you know the staff can rotate around them all they all do feel like they've got their own identity yeah um yeah that's cool i liked having the the veranda yeah i like being able to look out yeah yeah having done just an ocean view room and a veranda room i well i've got any, you know, having done one on an ocean view and then one on a veranda room, I then have booked three cruises with veranda yeah. rooms. Like, that's just, mm. it's a preference. I need to be able to go outside. I don't want to have to go on a public deck to be outside. Yeah. I don't want to have to go up and down stairs to be outside. No, yeah. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah, definitely. Okie dokie. Well, um, yeah, that being said, I do have more disney content coming your way very soon i am currently unpacking from this trip i'm packing for a trip to disneyland and then we do have our cruise on the wish coming up with one day at disney world beforehand um so you're gonna want to make sure you are subscribed and hit that not notification bell so don't miss out on future bookish content and more importantly so don't miss out on future disney content coming your way um but yeah 
I've not seen my ticket for the next Disney trip. You've I not seen your ticket? Yeah, I don't know where it is. It's there. All oh, right. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. We got it. We got it. It's fine. Okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another video for you very soon. So I will see you then.